autofocus. I had it off autofocus. I was shooting some trains earlier. Um, I decided over here by the beach, and we're at the beach. There's Farcliffe Station. My truck needed to be a little, a little bit more rusty. Now you can't see that, but you can see this. So I, uh, I rusted it, but I graduated it. The rustiest is the closest to the water. And as I moved back from the water, I reduced the amount of rustiness till I got back here. And there's just a little bit back here. I don't know if you can tell, but I graduated it. And this track, well, let's see. Oh, I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to. This track here, well, the light is not showing it up, but that's the rustiest um, track of all. Although this one up here is pretty rusty too. But I'm not painting rust today. You've probably noticed that um, most of my tracks are painted, some better than others, of course, and most of them are kind of grayish. I don't know, metal, metal and, uh, and oil mixed together. However, I decided that down here, as I get closer and closer, in the lowland here and I'm going into the tunnel that it'd probably be pretty wet. So um, I didn't go rusty but I went darker and uh, a little bit on the brown side. But here I want to go with gray. This is pretty new. This is representing, supposed to be representing some new track work from here to here. I don't know if you can see the ballast where it changes color. But this is supposedly uh, some new track work, you know, new points and stuff. And um, so I decided it should be more of a gray color. It hasn't been out there long enough to rust. So I'm painting it gray. I'm going to get the tripod and I'll talk to you about it, the, the paint I'm using and how I'm doing it. This is my little uh, painting table. I move it around uh, wherever I'm using the airbrush if I'm using it on the layout. This is the color that I'm painting. This is my gray, although I have various grays. And this gray that I'm painting today consists of uh, dark gray, Tamiya dark gray, and uh, just a little bit of uh, brown this is a red brown but uh, there is a there are some a few drops of brown in my gray today I have uh, been painting other colors this is a uh, it's, it's slightly reddish it's a brown but it's a dark brown I've used that. And when I want things really rusty, I use a red brown. Um, this is a red brown. And I added a little red to it. Just plain red. I stick with the flat XF, it's, it's flat paint. And uh, I, I frequently toss in a little um, olive green. But I sometimes put a little of that in there. And of course white. I use white. I used white in my gray. 
to lighten it a bit. This uh, this dark gray is uh, just a little bit on the dark side, and I did lighten it a little bit. So let's see. This is kind of a muddy color, muddy brown. I showed you that. That's my rusty color. So that's basically how I'm doing it. And uh, in the airbrush, this is an Iwata Eclipse. Um, it's a nice airbrush. You probably don't need anything quite this good. My wife gave it to me as a birthday present, so I use it and I love it. It's, uh, it's been really good. Make sure you get a cleaning kit when you get your hairbrush if you don't have one already. They come in handy. I keep it around when I'm when I'm uh, using the airbrush because sometimes you know you it just jams up and uh, not very often, but when it does, boy, you know you've got a pot full of paint. And I also use uh, 99% alcohol. And I usually uh, use it about a 75% a alcohol, 60 to 75% alcohol in my mix. That's what I've got in there now. And I have not added the alcohol. I can tell now because I just charged it and there's hardly any. So I'm going to put some uh, alcohol in here. got my uh, airbrush set at about uh, 30 PSI. I run it around 25 to 30. So that's the color I'm shooting. You can see, or I can, I don't know, through the camera, you might not be able to see, but just a hint of brown in the color. Let's, uh, let's do a little painting. i got to turn the camera, so I'll be right back. Hopefully you can see. See how I do with my, with my left hand. Well, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you're not subscribed, why don't you subscribe and hit the little bell so you get notifications about my videos. See you next time. Thanks for watching.